Welcome in to IllinoisPrep.com. Skylar King alongside Eric Seals. You can get to us Twitter at Skylar I Prep, at Eric I Prep, breaking down our top 10 Illinois high school football teams. And I'll start us off. Number 10, Lincoln Way East beats down Lockport 38-7 and... Really, they're they're proven that they're one they're one of the teams that is going to be dangerous in eight A. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, they're I think they're going to be seven A though. Are they are they seven A? I think I'm pretty sure they're seven A. Um, you know that changes every right. Year. It does. Who I mean, who really counts anyway? So definitely a team that we've been looking at uh, in a lot of people's rankings. Uh, they slowly got into ours and they're starting at ten. And uh, one of those teams, just like number nine, Bolingbrook, yep. who will see. Um, go against Homewood Flossmore, all in the same conference. And between those three teams, they're really going. They're, there's going to be one that really sticks ahead of the pack. And East and Flossmore do match up. Yep. This this upcoming week, and number nine, Bowenbrook, a big time win over Joliet sixty to six. One of those teams that we sort of stuck stuck our necks out for, but they're oh, yeah. coming we, through. And we we did stick our necks for out for them for a couple teams. And I will tweet it. I will smile when they do good. I don't root for anybody. But when, you know, teams do good in our top ten, I, I have a little smile on my face. Speaking of which, number eight, Providence yep. keeps rolling. 3-0. and Get, Getting a li- little tougher here with the yep. Ramblers this upcoming week, though. Yeah, uh, we knew this was going to happen. Yep. We said this is one of those teams, if they go 6-3 and three or 5-4, and four, they're definitely going to be slated. 6A favorites. 6A favorites. So going into this game, is going to be a tough one. But if they lose it, uh, along with some of the other games they're going to play, I still think they'll be okay. Yep. This is definitely going to be a good uh, Celtics team. The Flyers, who we saw a week ago, uh, only a two touchdown win over Edwardsville. Only? But I, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I think Edwardsville is a tougher program than they normally play in state. Yeah. Uh, you know, East St. Louis, we, we got to see them, what was that, two, three, eight weeks ago? I can't remember how long yeah. ago it was now. But East St. Louis, uh, they're not called the Flyers. They're called the Flyers for, the, for a reason. Um, they look really good. Uh, definitely uh, preparing themselves for, um, you know, the, the, the playoffs, and they should be uh, rolling through some teams from this point forth. Absolutely, a team that was another team that was in our ranks to start the year, but Loyola, big time win over Montini a week ago, which is why you see Montini no longer in our rankings. They, yeah. they, they, they've had two dog fights mm-hmm. and the beat down at the hands of Loyola, but the Ramblers continue. 35 point win over Lake Forest Academy after being down early. Yeah, and, and a, lot, a lot of people look like, why didn't you have Loyola in there? It was tough, you know, with losing so many players from last year. And, you know, but they did have Malcolm Weaver come back along with, uh, uh, you know, several other key players. And it was hard. As soon as we saw, you know, some of the points they were putting up this year, we're like, okay, let's go ahead and get it back in there. So we got him in there. Boom. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carmel grinded one out. Against Niles Notre Dame, twenty six seven. They are our number five team. Again, still only loss that uh, thriller. Yeah, it <laughs> against was. Julia Catholic. And, and, and for the most part, it looks like that might be. Even though that was a close game, motorcycle going by. Uh, <laughs> it, it, you know, it shows that you know this team is they're gonna have a successful season. You know, they um, they're probably gonna definitely have a tough game against Maris coming up. Yep. But for the most part. You know, they're 7A, Maris is 8A, Joliet Catholic is 5A. They don't even have to worry about teams in their own conference. Right. Joliet Catholic ugh, hung 63 on, yeah. my, on my nights yeah. da- down there at Richwoods. 28-28 at halftime, but too, too much Malin Jones, too much Ty Isaac. The Helltoppers just continue to roll. <sighs> Number three, yep. Frank Lenti tying the state wins record at 306. They... Put a whooping on De La Salle, forty to seven, yep. and again the, the caravan. I, I mean, we might be heading towards that uh, Mount Carmel Main South rematch. Rematch, <laughs> and I, I don't think Frank Lenny would. I, I think he'd be very interested in having that again because right. uh, Mount Carmel de- definitely they, they looked pretty good against them last year, and, and you know we talked about them at the first game of the season against Simeon, and and I said you know when you have Frank Lenny leading the pack. Right. I'm going to go with him 9.9 times out of 10. So He's, he, he's won a couple titles. He's, yeah. o- he's okay. Just okay. Yeah. yeah. Clumbard West, payback. Yep. 31-3 against Lions Township. A Lions team that came in the season, you know, high hopes and, yeah. you know, beat Stevenson in week one. Mm-hmm. But all I know is Avery below 190 yards, three touchdowns, and – 
Then they're getting their starting running back back yep. next week. It's gonna be Whew. it's gonna be dangerous for the Hilltoppers. Yeah, number two. Or the hitters. Then. I always mix up which ones they are. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but they're hitting people. Let's put it that way. They are, especially yeah. especially that uh, that D lineman. He, what's his name? Yeah. Tommy, yeah. He, is that his he, name? He's yeah, okay. So. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, and then Maine South, answer answering the critics after uh, not scoring many against Wheaton South. Yeah. Hanging forty eight on Deerfield and your boy. Running run wild, 136 yeah. yards, three touchdowns. Paul Preston. That's what we do on the All-Star team, you know. <laughs> uh, but, you know, with Maine South, not surprised at all. And Sarah said it, you know, coach and Sarah said it. You know, I'm going to coach up my boys because this was an ugly win. Yep. Uh, but that's what a good coach will do. So, And, I know. mean, again, Matt Elvini, not, not even really clicking yet. Only 12 of 22 for 94 yards, three scores. I, again, we talked about it. If this passing game ri- really gets going. Scary. Ugh. Look out. I think that would be tough even for, for Mount Carmel. But someone who matches up well against them, the Ramblers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that'd be a, we, we talked about that. That might be a game we, yeah. we have to see also. Is well, you'll sense. have to come this time. And, you know, you, right? we might have to put a helmet on for you because I was kind of scared on the side. Yeah. Right? I'll, I'll hit some people, you know. Anyway. <laughs> the, Main South. Predictably, number one in our rankings, yep. 10th. And again, we're going to see some major shakeup. We you think, especially with that Lincoln Way East, Homewood, Flossmoor, oh, Bolingbrook that. trio going at it the next couple weeks. Mm-hmm. And, you know, conference season is upon us. We know the Catholic League schools, somebody's going to get knocked off. Mm-hmm. But it should be exciting stuff. So until next time, for Eric Seals, I am Skylar King. And come see us next week here at IllinoisPrep.com. Mm-hmm.